Nonprofit Services has the technology and know how to achieve your nonprofit goals. We have all the tools that you need for your nonprofit to be successful, including tech support, consulting, development strategies, and business continuity to make sure your data is safe on prem or in the cloud anywhere all the time. Call NPS at 877 797 8776. We're easy to reach and easy to work with. Obviously, draw a lot of attention from, from defenses and that went off today to other guys before. Uh, if this game was sort of illustrated with the fact that you guys are uh, a one man show. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, we have tons of talent on the offensive side of the ball. I think Jackson won three goals, five assists today. Gaudi had six goals. I think that's right. Yeah, that's right. And uh, you know, you, you got to respect everybody on that side of the ball. Uh, Joey Sessa, Jack Ty, Lucas Collier, uh, John Angelis. Right? The list goes on and on. Teddy Forrest, I mean, all those guys make an impact and makes it really easy for me. Questions for Sudan up front? Matt, uh, and if anybody else wants to jump in, they can too. Uh, what were you guys seeing kind of in the middle of the field? Was it kind of a plan to attack from the middle of the field today? Uh, just with, with the looks that you guys were able to get there early on, really throughout the first half. Uh, I guess thankfully uh, we have really confident fielders who are able to draw attention away, and typically the slides going to come from the crease. So they, they were, their, their fills were actually very good today, but I think I was able to manipulate well enough where I could just follow the slide, which is always not me. Uh, and uh, just get behind my guy and get open for a couple uh, easy laps. So. Again, make sure you raise your hand if you have any questions. Any other questions for the student athletes in the middle here? Matt, this is a um, question for you about Ben. You know, Ben's kind of been known to, you know, be very good about passing his knowledge on and, and kind of bringing up some of the younger guys. How, how has he done that with you? Um, I think from uh, from day one when I got to school, Ben was really uh, he kind of very welcoming and. I think he saw a little bit of a future in me, so he, he trusts me a lot along with, uh, along with Jackson. And uh, I think uh, from day one, we've just really kind of built this chemistry where it's like, you know, I'm, I'm going to trust you to do your thing, whereas they draw a lot of attention. And my, my goal is to be a finisher, so I think it works out so pretty well together. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Matt, there was a moment at the end of the game that we kind of crashed over and I don't know, soaking in or what, what was going, kind of going through your head there right when you came off the field and you were kind of in the race? Uh, well, I mean, I was really dehydrated. I, mean, I, was, <laughs> I was in AK, I kind of tipped over and Ben saw me and he just picked me up and uh, I guess I got to drink more for the next game. <laughs> in the middle right here. For all players, just, um, how did the coaching staff prepare you guys to, to not let the moment get to you? you know, the biggest stage you guys have been on. Um, you know, how do you not let that happen? Jackson, you want to take that first? Sure. Um, I think our coaching staff is uh, incredible with that, specifically. Um, the main key is like we make practice so hard that uh, a game like this can't ever get too big. Um, the, the pressure we get, especially uh, to guys from our defensemen in practice, is incredible. So. Uh, you're always going to prepared for a big game like this. Um, I think, I just want to tack on that. I mean, we have the best coaching staff in the country, uh, and it's not even close. And uh, the things they do for us, I've told them multiple times, and I don't understand it. When they make a game plan, I'll be in the office listening to them talk. I have no idea what's going on, but it's absolutely incredible, and every guy in this team could be more grateful for what they do for us. Hey, Matt. I, th I think the key was uh, our coaches 
obviously been some much tougher situations in practice, and, and I think uh, it's just about not letting, I guess, the, the thrill of it all get to you. Obviously, Gillette Stadium is an incredible facility, and it's just about you know using your reset, which is one thing our coaches have really taught us, no matter how bad or how good the play was. It's just starting from square one and starting from scratch. Any other questions for the student athletes? All right, thank you guys. Up front. Andy, how did you kind of see the, the keys to those first 10, 12 minutes or so as you guys jumped out, get the first seven goals, really at both ends of the field? Because it, it seemed like both things were working really well. Yeah, I mean, I thought we had the ball, which is part of it, you know, and I think that that's, that's a big part of this game specifically um, when we play those guys. Um, you know, their goal, we only have a ton of respect for. Uh, we decided that we need to shoot as efficiently uh, and as intelligently as possible. And it ended up being a, a, a rough day for him, unfortunately. He's a first team All American and he's a great player and a great kid, I'm sure. Um, you know, but I think that we were able to can our shots and you're extremely efficient as a result. So um, you know, in the first game he had 19 saves. So we felt like we had the ball, we got volume and uh, we couldn't kind of solve him. We worked hard this week uh, on solving him. You do that, you look at you look at tape and you, you wonder if you tell your guys where to shoot or, or, or whatever. So um, we, we did give him some hints as to what we thought we could do. Uh, but uh, ultimately, they, they made plays and they they were consistent and diligent and uh, disciplined the whole thing. So that's where the game went. Ben Miller. Andy, what was your uh, game plan for Connor Fields, just not knowing maybe what his effectiveness or not knowing would be? Uh, well, you know, first of all, for that kid to be out there at all is phenomenal. And, and I think that you know, for, for those of us that have had an injury, I've had an injury, the respect I have for him for finishing his senior year and leading that team to the Final Four, I, I've, I've never seen anything like it. So. Um, that's the first thing that, that I would have to mention. Uh, we were planned, we had planned on a number of different matchups with four of our defensemen on um, any of their attackmen. Um, we kind of looked at the pecking order. We could put you know, Chris Bake on him, we could put Chris Bake on one. Um, you know, we, we went as deep as to, to discuss some of our long sticks on, on those guys. So we just felt like if we could do that, then we could up the tempo. Uh, you know, we wouldn't have to use one guy the whole time. And Chris Fake is an athletic kid and a powerful kid, and he can chase guys. So that's kind of what we were, we were thinking. Um, but credit to, to Connor Fields. He still played a great game and played a tough game, and he's a competitor. Um, but I think it, you know, it ended up being a bit of a war of attrition that worked out in our favor. He wasn't matched on Chris the entire time. Um, and it wasn't, it's not like we switched the matchup, it was by kind of happenstance. Um, but we were prepared to look at Chris on one, Jerry on five, uh, Keating on either of them, uh, eight nines, Will Whitesville, Robert Mooney. So um, I, I think that anyway we stacked it, we were okay because we were going to kind of play a little bit of pressure and, and get out of their hands. At the time when we weren't on their hands, they got, they got close. So we'll work on that. Andy, in the second half of the second quarter, after they'd gotten within four, I guess it was, you shut them out the rest of the way, and then they call that timeout and you score right after that. I mean, how ener energizing was that for you guys to get that combination? Yeah, that was incredible. Yeah, incredible. Was, uh, a lot of twists we put in this week on, on the uh, on drive, and the coach still went and played. It worked really well, and our guys executed, and, you know, and trusted. Uh, trust the moment, and you know it's, it's it's a big deal when you can do that going into that. So um, we felt like that was pretty good. Any other questions for Coach Jay in the middle? Coach you mentioned Albany being uh, your biggest out of conference rival. What does this game mean for the series going forward? Well, I mean, you know, they've gotten the better of us a few times, and. and uh, you know, it looks like we've got a, a two-game streak, and I'm sure we're going to 
going to be a knockdown drag out again next next year. So, um, you know, like I said, they're, they're a team that we respect immensely. Um, and, you know, we feel like they play the game open. And they play it the right way, and we try and do it as well. Um, and, uh, you know, I think, it, I think that's kind of the right thing to do. Any other questions? Okay, thank you.